What's up XRP family? I hope you guys are doing well and having a great day. So we are really nearing some very, very interesting dates. So watch the whole video, guys. I have some very interesting stuff about XRP. So here we have the IMF privately issued crypto assets like Bitcoin come with substantial risks. Making them equi equivalent to a national currency is an advisable shortcut. Read more in our IMF blog by the IMF's Tobias Adrian. Now, guys, look at this. This is just crazy news, okay? The IMF recently dropped special, dra special drawing rights for all the countries to help boost the economy. 650 billion, right? This is known to you. But I want you to look how they call their new currency. It's not coincidence. Look at this, guys. IMF voting power, IMF currency XDR. This is how they call their special drawing right currency. Quota millions of XDR. 82,000, 30,000, 30,000. So you can see that XDR is called the new currency. This is definitely related to, to XRP. Now, I will show you why. First of all, voting power in the IMF is based on a quota system. Each member has a number of basic votes. Each member's number of basic votes equals 5.5. .5. So here you can read the special drawing right is the unit of account of the IMF and represents a claim to currency. Now, they, not, they don't talk about what currency or what is the special drawing rights exactly. Okay, but let's go to their website. Take a look, guys. Crypto assets as national currency a step too far look how they put cryptocurrency in a bad place such as bitcoin but look what they say in the first paragraph new digital forms of money have the potential to provide cheaper and faster payments enhance financial inclusion improve resilience and competition among payment providers and facilitate cross-border transfers now which currency is doing the most efficient payments and cross-border payments we all know that's xrp guys there's no better technology okay we have xlm we have some other stuff but come on we know that xrp and ripple are in a lawsuit right now and everything is fitting together it doesn't get more obvious than this but doing so is not straightforward it requires significant investment as well as difficulty policy choices such as clarifying the role of the public and private sectors in providing and regulating digital forms of money. Now, what is happening right now? They are regulating XRP, right? Isn't this what they are talking about? Some countries may be tempted by a shortcut adopting crypto assets as national currencies. They are talking about El Salvador for making Bitcoin legal tender. Many are indeed secure, easy to access, and cheap to transact. We believe, however, that in most cases, risks and costs outweigh potential benefits. Crypto assets are privately issued tokens based on cryptographic techniques and denominated in their own unit of account. Now, this is what they're talking about on their website, guys. It's very obvious in the first paragraph that XRP is related to their special drawing rights. They are just waiting for the SEC to settle with, with Ripple and it will be used, guys. It is time. We have been waiting for this. Here we have James K. Fillon. I really appreciate the XRP community, guys, especially James K. Fillon, Jeremy Hogan, Johnny Deaton. These guys are amazing. But you guys also, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. So let's get this done. The court has granted motions to see regarding the Slack communications dispute. And second, the privilege disputes. The motions to see were granted pending resolution of the underlying motions. Both are text only orders, screenshot attached. So here you can see that they said that they, that they don't want to see this, uh, the Slack uh, communications and the Hinman's dep deposition is filed under seal. So it's done, guys. They will not talk about this anymore. It looks like a settlement is upcoming. Here we have Jeremy Hogan. Prayers for Louisiana. I've been in 150 miles per hour winds before. It's no joke. So this is what's going on right now, guys major events burns fires uh, a lot of things that's really collapsing the economy and stuff like that 
Here we have Altar of Ego. Standby is 85, 85 is 13, is 4, 4, 4, 4. Please stand by. Rise, Quantum Upgrade. Here we have Mr. Pool. Stand by. It's almost time. Very interesting. Ripple price analysis. XRP likely to retest the $1.2 level. We are definitely going up, guys, from here. It's so obvious. And the settlement is really, really close. The SEC is on its knees. Ripple price analysis reveals that the altcoin is readying up to retest the $1.2 level. However, the altcoin is moving independently on the current market trend set by the king Bitcoin and the queen Ethereum. The altcoin is down by 3.3% in the past 24 hours and by 54 in the past 7 days. But it's looking very, very good, guys. The chart of XRP is by far looking the best among all the others. Here we have Danny Dark. Did you notice the soul symbols are mirrored? Which way does the timeline move? Reverse or rather in duality? Here you can see, guys. July 22, August 22, September 22, October 22, November 22. Here you can see. This is the timeline for XRP. Very, very soon. Here you have real XRP boy tweeting this. Look at this. Crypto Ari, many passed through the doors of the SEC. Andrew Cerny became director of the Securities Exchange Commission and now he's on the team defending Ripple. Look at this. I already showed that in my previous video, so I want to talk about this one. Mr. Solomon has been a federal prosecutor for more than 10 years, most recently serving as an assistant U.S. attorney in the District of Columbia. Guys, they're all working together. They are all working together. This is all planned. And we have been saying that for a long time. If this is 100% accurate, it may be the greatest tweet I've ever read regarding a shitcoin, the USD, or a scammer Federal Reserve. Look at this, guys. Look at the specifications of the US dollar. 27 trillion in circulation, unlimited supply cap, only one node, 25% of supply minted in last six months. This is true, by the way. They printed so many dollars in the last six months, guys. It's mind-boggling. 1% of holders own 30%. That's the dollar. And that's what people put on their bank as savings. Well, that's not very smart. This is 1 December drop. 17 drop is 153. May 15. This is another Mr. Pool drop, guys. With explosions coming in very, very soon. We are on the cusp of a digital explosion so great it will be unfathomable whereby XRP has been positioned as the fundamental asset for the transfer of value between banks and institutions. No longer will you be selling the use to USD. The internet of value will be tied directly to XRP. Exactly this will happen, guys. Ironically, in July 2018, Gary Gensler himself in a testimony to Congress cited Hinman's speech as what he saw as the SEC's official view. He taught MIT students the same thing. Reasonable, clear, very clear. So there is no opinion. This is how the SEC was thinking. To bring greater clarity to these markets, the SEC must also determine how best to bring into compliance the over 1,000 ICOs and numerous crypto exchanges still in operation in the US. So you can pause the video, guys, and read this. Very interesting. This is all said by the SEC. So it's very clear that they were thinking like this. And this was the SEC's view and not just Mr. Hinman. The Securities and Exchange Commission has a lot of work ahead of them to sort of bring this market into the first part of the market. 70% of the market is commodities. But the first part, this ICO marketplace, is the SEC's. They are working at it, but they have a lot of work ahead. XRP never had an ICO. Hint. Gary Gensler, nominee for the SEC chair, talking about Ripple as possible bridge currency of the banking system. Yes, much of the cost is because you're moving from one ledger to another. Sorry to get sort of down into the accounting, but you're moving from one fiat currency to another fiat currency, which are, in essence, kept on two different ledger systems called two different commercial banking systems in, did you say, Tanzania to Nigeria? So you have two different ledger systems. And, and over the centuries, a uh, whole process of Nostra accounts and the setting up of, of, of the account base to do that. It can be done on blockchain um, and between two central banks, but 
the thinking is is that you might need some bridge currency between Tanzania and Nigeria, and there's a number of, 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 of uh, blockchain technologies that do that, that basically, instead of SWIFT, which is just a messaging system, and then the banks have to somehow pre-fund in Nostra accounts, I hope I didn't lose too many people, but this is about the technology of banking, not the technology of blockchain. Um, but to go between Tanzania and Nigeria, you, ne you need somebody to bear some counterparty risk that the ledgers both move and are adjusted at the same time. And usually it's a bank that is in both countries. You could use blockchain, but you, the current thinking is you need a bridge currency in between. And that bridge could be a stable value that's, that's you know, backed by the US dollar or the euro. It could be a currency even like uh, Ripple has an alternative. It's just piloted in May, so it's, it's not yet up in any enterprise-wide level. Um, but that you might need something to, to basically hop, skip, jump. He very well explains this, guys, and he really knows what Ripple is, and he really knows it very good. You can see, this is not a joke, guys. The, these guys know everything what Ripple is doing. They know what's coming. He said you need to solve the Nostro Vostro account problem, which is only RippleNet can do that with ODL. It's literally the only solution. The B Bank for International Settlements has Project Nexus, but it doesn't solve this problem. So it's only Ripple. And that is what's going on right now. Up to 25% of adults in the US spend an inordinate amount of their income on high interest rates and fees. The solution? Blockchain. Read more about how it's fundamentally changing the way people interact with the financial system. Now, just imagine this, guys, that in a couple of years that you will just have your wallet, your your any wallet of digital asset on your phone. And there is no inflation because cryptocurrencies have limited supplies, which is a very good thing. How many of you think September is the month for big events, both XRP and geopolitical? Yes, I think major 75 percent of the guys think that XR, that there will something happen in, in September for XRP. And I really think that if Mr. Poole said no gradual rise and just sudden, does that mean the timeline is a illusion? Thoughts? I think they will increase the price to shake out most people, maybe from $3 to 100 then flip the switch on us XRP shizos. What will it be, everyone? Let me know in the comments what you think when XRP will move. March is 1, September is 7, I is 9, September 9, the end 56, Baba Cox 56. Let's see what will happen in the next weeks. It will be interesting. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you liked it. See you in the next one.